Almost a year since the riot at the U.S. Capitol and the first defendant from Georgia sentenced today for his role in the chaos. Joe Hankey has details of the punishment handed down to Cleveland Meredith and why this case is so unique. Joe? Well, Sheba, the vast majority of defendants made their way onto the Capitol grounds, if not into the building itself. Cleveland Meredith arrived in D.C. after the Capitol had already been stormed, but court records show he brought guns and thousands of rounds of ammo with him, and he texted threats against House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and the mayor of Washington, D.C. In federal court today, Cleveland Meredith received a sentence of 28 months in prison. He'll be credited for the 11 months he's already spent in jail in D.C. and could be released in 2023. I believe a sentence here uh, closer to the maximum, the five-year maximum, 60 months, would have been appropriate. Former federal prosecutor Brett Williams says in his opinion, Meredith received a light sentence, but he believes it is strong enough to deter similar crimes in the future. I do think it will have an effect, uh, and I do think that that uh, folks will understand it's being taken seriously so that we don't have incidents like this in the future. In September, as part of a plea deal, Meredith pleaded guilty to sending threatening text messages. He was arrested January 7th after arriving at a D.C. hotel less than two miles from the U.S. Capitol building. Court records show a friend had texted Meredith, I think Trump wants you to go home peacefully. Meredith replied, expletive, he wants heads and I'm going to deliver. He later texted, thinking about heading over to Pelosi's expletive speech and putting a bullet in her noggin on live TV. Meredith also sent similar messages threatening the life of Washington, D.C.'s mayor, Muriel Bowser. His mother contacted the FBI, fearing for her son's and others' safety. Federal agents arrested him at his hotel room. Agents found Meredith, drove hundreds of miles to D.C. and brought with him 2,500 rounds of ammunition and two guns. Possession of a firearm in D.C. is illegal. Williams believes Meredith's case is a preview of how other cases related to the Capitol riot will end. I think you're going to see more guilty pleas, uh, but partly guilty pleas because the plea agreement, at least in this, in this case, are pretty good deal. A pretty good deal, meaning Meredith avoided the maximum sentence of five years, something he may have been more likely to receive, I'm told, if he took this case to trial. Coming up at 6, we look at if the sentence in this case could impact the sentencing in other capital riot cases. Sheba.